Hello. Look what I've just found in my seed box. An easy to use two mat pack of mixed leaves. Now I got these a couple of years ago and I think the reason I bought them was they were, uh, they were selling them off at the end of the season. And I've grown these before. I didn't grow them last year. Um, this must have slipped to the bottom of the box and I, I didn't find it. Um, but I've been having a ratch and I've found it now. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to sow these mixed leaves. I'll just have a read off this packet and tell you what's in it. What these mixed leaves are. Let me see, it's here somewhere, I know it does, I'm sure I've read it. Oh yeah, it contains um, cress wrinkled. It contains cress wrinkled, crinkle mustard greens, mustard giant red. <laughs> Let's start again. Hold on. It contains Cress, Winkle, it contains Cress, Winkle Crinkle, Mustard Greens, Mustard Giant Red, Leaf Radish, let's start again, it contains Cress, Wrinkle Crinkle, Mustard greens, mustard giant red, leaf radish, rocket, and Mizuno. Um, all in this one packet, all in these seed mats. Now then, these need to be sown in an 8 inch pot, and this is an 8 inch pot. As you know, I usually use 10 inch pots, but trust me, this is an 8 inch pot. Let's take these seed mats out and have a look at them, see what they look like. Have you seen these before? If you haven't seen these before, you might want to give them a go, and particularly if you have eyesight or dexterity issues. If you struggle to see seeds, or struggle to pick them up, or have any, have any other disability or issue that means planting seeds are difficult for you, this might be something you want to try. Can you see the seeds in that mat? See the rows? rows of seeds. Um, okay, so all we've got to do to sow all of those seeds, and I'm not too sure how many there's in there, there must be hundreds, um, to sow those seeds is to prepare a pot with some compost, just fill it up, spray the surface, make it nice and wet, Okay, and now we're simply going to lay this seed mat on top, like that. How easy was that? I've just sown a hundred seeds in one go. How easy was that? Now you can also get this uh, type of arrangement as a seed tape. And clearly, as the name implies, it's a tape with seed in it. I've never used it before, so I can't recommend it, uh, but I can imagine that you would lay the tape out uh, across your bed, wherever you're going to uh, sow your seeds. Probably put a, pole, a small pebble at intervals along it so the wind doesn't blow it off. Give it a good spray with water. Sprinkle some compost along its length, then take those pebbles off because the compost will hold it in place now. Put a wee bit more compost and spray it. Job done. How easy is that? So we'll finish this off. So this is. This is a seed mat, but you can also get seed tapes. Uh, and what I would suggest you do if you're, if you're interested in this, is to just Google seed tape or seed mat. Um, and most of the leading seed suppliers sell these things. And uh, they're really simple to use, as you can see. Uh, you may want to give it a go. Um, 
Now I didn't sew any of these last year as I've said because I, I, I've lost that packet but I found it now um, so I'm going to sew these and we'll see how they go. Uh, from recollection they went really well. Now I think it says on the packet you can get four crops. You can go at this four times and take leaves. Now I'll be surprised if you can. I don't think I did. Uh, but what you need to do to, to maximise what you're going to get here is take the leaves really young. So when these guys start sprouting, before they're too big, start taking leaves. Okay, take the outside leaves, the bigger leaves, um, and more leaves will appear. And then you might get four visits to this pot uh, to take your mixed, uh, mixed leaves. Right, one more with the water. How easy is this? too easy isn't it? Blimey. Probably a hundred seeds sewn there. Right now then just before I say bye bye here's our second seed mat. Okay we'll pop this guy back in the packet and in two or three weeks time we'll sew this mat exactly like this and that'll um, give us even more mixed leaves, a longer growing season, won't it? Yeah, give it a go. Oh and by the way, if you do go with the seed tapes, as I say I've never used them before, so I can't recommend them, but if you've used them, um, let me know, and let me know if they're any good. Well, let, let us all know. Tell us all, if you've, if you've used seed tapes in the work, um, and we want to help one another, well tell us all that they work. If you, if, if you couldn't make them work, tell us you couldn't make them work. Give us some information on seed tapes uh, and I'll do this uh, seed mat and hopefully you'll, you'll see a result here. Let's just check how many days it is since I put this seed mat in this pot. I'm making that 20 days. So from putting the seed mat in this pot to what you see now, 20 days. I think you'll agree with quite a full pot there. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but you can, you can see this is a mixed bunch, can't you? You can, you can see all the different shapes of the leaves, some with a, a slightly ready tinge on them. Um, but yeah, we're happy with that and I think we'll be taking leaves out of this pot uh, in a week or two's time, what do you think? It's now four weeks since we first sowed these uh, mixed leaves in this eight inch pot. Uh, using a, uh, a seed mat. I think you'll agree those guys have come on really well and we're ready to take some. Um, we don't need a lot, I'm going to make myself a cheese sandwich to go with this uh, beer that I've got. Um, but we'll take a few, we'll have that cheese sandwich and we'll enjoy it. Okay, what I recommend you do is if you give this a go, is that when you take your leaves, snip them. If you try to pull them, you'll actually pull out the, um, the plant itself. Just snip them. Okay, take the biggest ones first, obviously, um, because they're the most mature, I guess. And uh, the rest will grow on behind, won't they? Now, I don't know what I'm actually getting there yet because it is a mixed pot. Um, But um, you can actually see the different shape leaves. Um, one will be that wrinkle, crinkle, whatever it is, and the other will be something else. What do you think? It's got to be three different uh, varieties there. I'm not too sure what they are. I don't care. As long as they taste nice in my cheese sandwich, the job's a good one. Okay. I'm going to give this a go. Um, well if you do, as I say, 
uh, take these regularly because they do tend to get uh, quite leggy if you don't um, and the more you take the more you cut the more they come apparently okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video just one last thing before I sign off uh, and this is a message to the organic vegetable gardener I hope you're watching uh, I've lost your contact details uh, and I may even have got your channel name mixed up but you'll know who you are um, because you requested uh, being able to uh, share my videos and use my videos on your playlist and you wanted to know if that was okay and yep as far as I'm concerned if you want to share these videos please do if you want to add them to your playlist please do in fact uh, all of my subscribers are welcome to share my videos and use them in the playlist if they want to if you, if you feel as though you want to do that please do it put them on Facebook, put them on Twitter, put them anywhere you like um, spread the word homegrown veg okay well are we going to make this cheese sandwich now? are we? come round here where do I move this? can you see this? can you see Molly? I hope you can yep come on it's cheese sandwich time, let's go